Hey, what's going on, fellas? The following video is just a personal archive that I'll be using to help develop some ignition equipment coming up here in the future. And it's also a chance to kind of sharpen my combustion skills. So essentially, what you're going to see here today is me throwing together a particular arrangement of equipment, seeing how it runs, predicting and, and trying to theorize why it's not behaving properly, and then attempting to mitigate the issue with the proper geometry needed to get this thing to run right. So that's kind of the, the secondary goal is to sharpen my combustion skills and figure out what it takes to get one of these systems doing exactly what we want to do when we're confronted with circumstances that are just completely unfavorable. And that happens a lot when you're trying to design combustion systems. You'll have all the high hopes in the world and you'll get it together and man, did it go wrong. It's, it happens to me all the time. All right, guys, so the camera's doing this no justice. The reverberation and the concussions coming off of this flame are incredible. It sounds like a World War II pulse jet bomb or something. It is, has a very powerful concussion to it. Not exactly an ideal combustion system. It's working, and it would make a very stable pilot light, but the second you turn that spark plug off, uh, the flame will go out, which isn't a big deal in a pilot light scenario at all. Some pilot light situations require a little bit more than just a tiny spark to get things going, and that's kind of what I'm looking at is different ways of pulling that off without getting sued for patent infringement. This one's a little loud though, so I'm not too fond of the design. It seems a little unstable, and I feel like it needs a combustion vortex zone for higher power. All right, at this point, I don't know why I'm bothering to do this. I don't really care for the design, and I have a much better design in mind. So, I wanted to try this Ventura, and I was gonna say that it sucks, but I'd be lying. It actually blows. Oh, this is gonna suck. And yes, we won't be testing that tonight. <laughs> End it with this design, but what we need to do is get rid of this length of pipe. There's too much explosion going on back in here. And it's causing the whole thing to explode and fly all the way back into here. Man, is that loud. All right, fellas, so over the course of the next couple hours, we tried several different geometries and configurations. And towards the end, I think we found what we were looking for. But in the middle, we found some stuff that may come up useful down the line. This thing don't have any use for me today, but some of the observations we're seeing may have characteristics that are desirable by a future build or something. I'm doubting it so far, so we're going through the process. We've now chopped off that high velocity nozzle, and we're going to try it with just the vortex chamber alone. And we ended up getting some fantastic results. The vortex chamber by itself causes that toroidal fireball I've been telling you guys about. And that sustains the flame so well, we don't even need to run the spark plug after ignition, which is a good characteristic of a nice design. That's a, kind of a quick look at our spark plug there. So this thing is running okay like this. I don't like it. As far as longevity goes, the plan would be to run a heavier gauge metal to dissipate the heat a little better. There we are running with no spark plug. So we definitely got some joy on that one. That's a good sign when you see that. So this design ain't too bad. I don't think we're going to go with it. It's got a lot of wasted metal in there. And, um, but it did show us a couple of things that I wanted to see. You can see how well that flame holder is actually working. A flame holder is another word for that particular front wall there. I've decided I absolutely hate my mixing chamber. There was too much going on there. We've reduced the size going to try this again. We have the vortex chamber in place and we'll see what we got. A lot of the backfires that were taking place were basically because that mixing tube was so long and I felt like getting off We're there pretty good. might give it even higher performance and it does appear to be acting a lot different. It's a terrible mixing tube. I'm not a fan of it all. But right there, do you see that toroidal fireball right there? That's the flame holder 
that's making this possible without a spark plug. That's extremely important right there. That is the toroidal fireball. We can actually see it hanging out in the front wall there. And that's the important thing to note there. Notice that it's living in the front of the chamber. Get about 20 meters per second there. All right, so now we're doing this nozzle here. Not a fan of this nozzle at all. Uh, but we have to check it out. This thing is so hard it's about getting punched in the chest. Some serious machine gunning going on with this thing. And it would make a tremendously powerful pilot light for certain applications. I mean, you ain't blowing this thing out. It is so powerful. But it's not exactly what I have in mind. I feel like we could do a lot better than this. Can't really get anything stable out of it. But in the end, some of these pilot lights have to travel through at least, you know, nine inches per fraction sometimes. So this I've got to like have that long pipe in there and I've got to see how it works. Yeah. But get this real. doesn't get any better. But we have it in the archive. And putting failures in an archive are just as valuable as successes because you may have in your head an idea that you want to try and it doesn't work and you can save yourself a huge amount of time by observing other people's failures so you've got no problem doing that and again this thing's making a powerful little device it's just not suitable for what i want i don't like the shotgun machine gun action this thing is freaking loud it would serve as a pilot light, just not the type I have in mind. Pretty interesting little creation though nonetheless. You just don't have any use for it now. It would blow dust out of certain areas because of the reverberation off of this thing. Now, posting research failures is just as important as posting your successes in my opinion because some of us have some ideas in mind that we want to try and if we're able to look at something similar that someone has done, it saves us a lot of time. There are plenty of things that didn't work here. I'm not showing any of this off as if to say, ooh, look at that. Some of it's like, oh man, well that sucks. Like this right here, this totally sucks. I'm not happy about this at all. It's terrible footage. It does none of us any good other than say, hey, do you see this? Don't do that. It's a waste of your time. All right, so we're back. That took a while. We shut down that monstrosity. It's pretty cool. It's actually really violent. It is as loud as a gun, a machine gun. I don't want the cops here. Um, so we got something different here. This is not just a pipe with some hoses going into it. There is a lot going on inside of this thing. We'll get to that here in a moment. This may be a total flop. I might have to move the spark plug, which is not going to be my idea of a good time. It should be on. Yeah. I don't know if you can see anything that's going on in there, but... And it's flop. Total flop. Nothing. I know what has to be done to fix it. It ain't going to be easy. mixer is not mixing. Essentially this is what has just happened. I was worried about this but I thought maybe the jets would diffuse it a little bit better. I was hoping for a flame wall back here and all that good stuff but I'm 99.9% .9 sure this is the reason for no joy. This is kind of what we got going on here. There's a back wall on this. No air is allowed to go through the back wall and the holes are about a quarter inch. So that's kind of what the inside of this thing looks like. And the air is just blowing straight to it. We need a flame wall right here. We do get that. So now the fix is pretty simple. We're now just gonna bring the fuel. We drill a hole in the side of the unit and put a fuel rod at a tangent. So now we're gonna spin the fuel for joy. Spin your fuel. 
We have redirected the fuel input. I'm really not all that excited about this design. I think I need a flame wall in the front of this thing and I don't have one. This is just straight bore. I'm amazed that we had this thing running without the spark plug on and um, all I did was change the way the fuel was injected into the device so we went from not being able to light at all to being able to run without the spark plug entirely but let's see if I know what the hell I'm doing we now have the firewall that I insisted on from the get-go like midnight. I'm waking people up. I'm getting courteous in my old age. So it was self-sustaining without the spark plug. So this thing's running stable enough. I guess the question now is how far can we shoot a flame up a tube if we were to use this specific design for a high-powered pilot light? All right, we're done with this project for the day. Well, it's yesterday now, but yet it's tomorrow. All right, fellas, we got to call it a day, man. I've got orders piled to the sky. I got to start getting some stuff done. Um, not getting paid for any of this yet. We've got a couple of jobs coming up that are going to require some pretty intuitive understanding of what's going on. So we're just trying to see how hard I'm hitting today. So far, so good. 